Hey guys, what's up? I'm uh, Bad Boy here with a new video review, this time of the Thunder Racers. So I'm going to review both of them at the same time, so joint review. And we're going to cover the patching real quick. Uh, patching's pretty much the same in the front, except you got Tiger and lion -O. On the back, uh, pretty much the same, except you replace Tiger's image with lion -O. Um, that, that's really it. And it shows that it does combine with the Thunder Tank, other figures in the line, so really not much here. I'm going to put these aside. So, uh, the um, Thunder Racers aren't actually that good. I mean, they fit in skill with the figures, but they really don't look like the show. Um, in the show, they've only appeared once in the show of the time of this recording. And the plastic here, this clear plastic, was actually blue. So that's interesting. Um, so I um, want to point that out really quick, and I want to cover the figures. The figures are cheapened down versions of the normal figures, and if they were to be cheapened down versions of the normal figures, I wish they would look like the normal figures, not these really weird race suits. Articulation on these guys are the same. Ball joint, arm, wrist, leg, knee, that's it. They do have the magnetic gimmick. Now, here they are next to their normal figures. Here's Lino. As you can see, uh, he is shorter. And here's Tigras next to you. Well, Tigra. They are shorter. Now, something I want to point out is that the feet are actually... Um, they should be swapped. Because look at Lionel's feet. You see, you got the brown and then the color here. And then Tigra, you can see it's one solid piece. So they got the feet messed up. Um, just wanted to point that out. So put these guys to the side. And... Um, you can kind of give them their. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I rotate it like this. So, you can give him the claw shield and he'll hold the other weapons. So, yeah, they'll hold the other accessories that th these guys come with. Okay? So, I got these out of the way. Now, the Thunder Racers are actually kind of cool. Now, the weapons are optional. You can put them on either side. And with the drill. You can actually make Lionel hold it. Tr tricky, but you can make him hold it. Little feature there, so. Yeah, and the hands kind of come off easily for some reason. Um, so yeah, you can make him hold the drill if you want, and if I actually take this one off, you can see that they are the exact same toy. They're literally exactly the same with different figures and different weapons added. Uh, good thing the weapons are removable because they're not in the show. Now, it rolls pretty well. I mean, it's decent. And the connection points, I wish they would fold in. And this is what lets them connect to the Thunder Tank. And I'm going to actually do that. Bring in the Thunder Tank. And then plug this on. And plug this on. There you go. Now you can't fold these down. You can fold it like this. Um, what you can actually do is plug these off. And this toy's so cheaply made. And then plug this on this way. It does look like the paws are closer, and some people have complained about this, but you could pretend that these fold in so when these drive up, they connect. Um, you can do that, I guess. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And yeah, good luck playing with it, with these attached to it. But, oh yeah, they still launch, so I guess I should demonstrate that. Um, they'll launch with the figures in. So yeah, you could totally do that. Um, I do recommend actually swapping these out. If you don't mind the look, that's cool. If you do mind, then just leave them up. But if you don't like that look, then uh, you're kind of not in a good situation then. And for size comparison, why not? Here it is next to the normal. The Thunder Oysters are included. Um, really big. This looks like a drone. This actually looks like a bike. Now, 
As they are a Thundercats toy, they have a magnetic lock gimmick, which I will demonstrate. You can see that there's a button in the back here that pushing it will not activate this weapon. When you open up the cockpit and put in a figure with the magnetic lock system, I see not going in. Oh, okay. Then you can see pushing it causes. See lined up. Causes this weapon to light up. Um, okay. I wish it was a missile launcher, but that's interesting. Now, it really doesn't do this, because when you plug it in, you can see that these um, little taps here move up and down, which hit this button, causing the light up. Which means you can put it on either side. Now, there's a problem, because the screws and the batteries are right there, so when you put it on this way, it's kind of showing, so it's really only meant with this side. Now, when you put the figures in, you can put their hands down, and you can see that they lock in here. They uh, tap into the controllers. And a screen here, which I wish has a sticker decal. It, and when you close this, it clips into place. Same thing here. There are tabs you can grab to open this up, or you can just pull it from the back. The magnetic lock gimmick is the same. Opening this up, and putting your lion or, or any other figure in that will fit. Chitaro does not fit in here, by the way. Uh, due to the way, again, her legs, you know, mess are. Uh, causes the tats to move forward, which causes this drill missile to shoot. And I really like the, for some reason, I really like the spring in here. It's not too powerful or too loose. It's, it's just a perfect spring they put in there. So, yeah. This one can go on either side and work. And by the way, the tab connection points, as I wish they folded up, but they will let you put this one either on the left or the right side of the thunder tank. So that is an option there. And another option I find really cool that you can plug these off, plug them on, and you totally have a Thunder Racer that's just drilled up. And then you have a normal one here. It's uh, kind of weaponed up. Plugging it back on. And there is a problem with this. I just killed him by dropping him on the floor. Anyway, um, putting the normal figures in, you have an issue. Which, let me get them in off camera. Uh, when you get the magnetic lock gimmick lined up, you can't really close it. In fact, if I mess with the hands a little bit, he just won't close. It, it closes, but not all the way. You have a gap. But you can use the... What the... I don't know, I don't know why it's not working. Did I line it up on? Yeah. You can use the gimmick, but you can't close it. However, when you push them in in a way that you can actually close this, which is doable, I'm doing it off camera because it's easier, which it is pretty decently hard. Right. It's doable. I've done it. I can do it. It's weird. Like I got it to work before. I don't know why it's not working now. But you can get them in a way in there, and you won't. And it will close all the way. For some reason, mine's not closing all the way. I got it to work before, and then you. But you can't use this drill, so that is a problem. Um, Tigres has the same thing. Um, putting them in in a way that. He can use his weapon, you can't close it all the way, but you can use the laser, which I wish was a missile. Um, putting him in, in a way that you can actually close it. You can't get him in a way where he can sit in here, and the way he will sit in here, you can't use the gimmick. But he'll close all the way. For some reason, Mike's not doing it. I got them to work before. I don't know why it's not working out. But it is doable. Uh, trust me. So, boom. take him to the side. Um, yeah, that's really the review. I mean, it's got some detailing here. Some panels, some panel springs. Actually, very nice detailing. The wheels are done kind of okay. Uh, the inside, I wish I had sticker decalage. And I wish this was blue. 
I guess they did it so you know whose figure's in there or something, but I mean, it's, it's not that good. I mean, yeah, you have the option of doing that, or just doing this, but, and I really like the spring in the, in the drill for some reason, I don't know why, but, um, it's just not that good. It It's in scale, and I recommend it to customizers who want to paint this blue, but it doesn't look that cool, it could have been done better, and it just fits way out of scale with the Thunder Tank. And the figures included are just way too cheap. I mean, they could have done way better. Anyway, so this is Battle Ball signing off with my video review of the Thunder Racers. I hope this was informative. I hope I decided, you know, helped you decide if you want to buy these or not buy them. Uh, Till then, I'll see you guys later. Adios. Oh, and leave a comment of what you think of these things. And subscribe to my channel. Adios.